Hey up. Right. I'm going out. I'm at Gav's. I'm meant to be playing FIFA, but after the bloody Feminati incident today, I'm going out and I'm going to the pub and I'm going to bloody have a skinful. I'll keep you updated via live vlogs. Hey up, right, we are out in the pub. I've sunk a few pints so far. Um, from now on, I can't be faff to do this with my tablet and stuff. I feel too self-conscious. So my mate, um, Dave, is going to film me from now on. Um, we'll do it the other way. No more selfie cam for the rest of the evening. I've got the right cob on, though, if I'm honest with you. I've been really eggy so far. Hey, here we are from the pub live. It's quite loud, it's quite rambunctious, I guess is the word. Um, here are my drinks. I've got a beer because basically I need to drown my sorrows, and I've got a Coca Cola as well for just replenishing my fluids and a nice taste. Doesn't taste great, um, and this tastes lovely. Can't really go wrong with the Coca Cola. The point I wanted to make while we've got the camera running is look at the way I'm sitting now. Is this offensive to anyone? My legs are open, my manhood, my testicles are breathing. They need to breathe, I'm a man, right? A woman has no idea of what the feeling is like when you have hot, sweaty balls and the skin is a different consistency on your testicles. It sticks to your leg, it's revolting. She's got no idea what that feels like. She, her opinion is null and void. Put it. <laughs> right, I was getting the beers in for the lads and Dave, you'll back me up on this, won't you? I'm not lying. No, 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 sir. Standing there at the bar, and this kind of, I can only describe it as some kind of catfish came up and started dancing like a ketamine catfish. Like seductively dancing about five inches from us. Honestly, honest to God, with a little kind of belly out and her kind of smuggling peanuts wiggling around right next to our faces. Shoot. Absolute 100% catfish. I know someone was filming that and to trick me and put it on YouTube. But well, you've got to get up a lot earlier if you're going to outfox me anytime. Especially tonight when my kind of pickles are up after the feminist or something. Hey, yo, right. We've been talking. There's a guy here that I used to work with. And he's talking about his experiences with a seagull. Number one, he had a seagull that used to visit our office and called him Stephen, Stephen Seagull, and he used to feed him each day. However, tragically, quite recently, he was walking through the park with his brakes in his hand, and a seagull swooped down on him and stole it, and, well, it injured him personally. experience, and it's got me thinking of kind of animal experiences in my past. Number one, a monkey reached its hand through the bars when I was young at the zoo, pulled my hair, I had luscious curly locks back then, pulled my hair, pulled me up against the cage and tried to steal my packet of crisps. He's laughing, but it was really, I was beside myself when I was a youngster. It was my birthday, it made me cry. Horrible. Number two, a wasp I knocked out. It came at me, and I know this sounds unbelievable, but I always, when they come at me, I do try and hit them, and once it worked out perfectly, just bam, that little fuck up was, went down, it was stunned, and I just stamped on him out of place. And finally, number three, and this was tragic, um, I was about 12 years old and I was in the country at my friend's house and his cats got a rabbit and injured it and paralysed. Um, his mum said someone's got to go and snap its neck and I did it and it was, it was the saddest thing in the world. And this cat kept trying to come back for it and I just went absolutely mental at the cat. Feral, pissing at it, screaming at it, scrambling after it. A little spasmoid little cat did one and knew what was good for it. Otherwise, honestly, I couldn't have been responsible for what I would have done for taking that bloody rabbit's life. So yeah, just some animal experiences from my past for you. Right, are we rolling? Uh, I've had to change sides of the table. Something absolutely revolting happened. I was sitting there drinking my drink and this guy said, mate, you've got a massive spider on your shoulder. Absolutely disgusting, revolting, hairy thing on my shoulder. I feel like it's everywhere. I don't like talking about my weaknesses in case they're utilised against me in some kind of combat situation or something. But I, I have to admit it, I'm absolutely terrified of spiders. They're revolting little spasmoids. Cut it. Yeah. Typical Stokes Scruff scene, a mini chicken shop, go to a pengers munch, man's ordered a chicken burger, wings, chips, looking forward to it now.
And man them, right, we've got the chicken burger. Man's got good bit of chicken in there. Look at that, good bit of fried chicken. Chips. Fries, fries, sorry. Mm, I taste it, I really taste it. I'll give them four and a half out of 10. I've had about the burger. That's a four at point three out of 10. Man's impressed. Oh, Anta, can I wash it all off? We've got a mango Rubicon. Absolutely gorgeous combination. Right, unfortunately, there has been zero FIFA wins. You can hear Gavin laughing, gloating over in the corner there, and Nige, both of them smashed me. Um, but what I did want to talk to you about is Bear Grills. You can see here, eyeballs. He's eating fish eyeballs and stuff for sustenance. Um, and this is exactly the kind of thing that I'd be brilliant at, survival skills and stuff. Um, so... I, I don't like to advertise and kind of, you know, but I am going to promote my badges here. You know, if a thousand of you could go and buy a badge right now, I could take myself off to remote island and bring you like a survival special, you know, need to know skills. Yeah. It's disgusting. You know, I don't even like fish full stop, but fish eyeballs is gross, but I'd do it and I'd survive. I'd conquer. Bear Grylls. What a guy. What a guy. What a bloke. Tunes on. Turn it up a bit, Gav. Callum is king of the jungle. Jungle cats. I've told you, it's one of the greatest songs there is, Gav. Right, it's just gone 2 a.m. and the night is definitely coming to a close now. Big Nige has given me a lift home, which is a relief. I don't want to go on the bus, to be honest with you. Um, I may have lost at FIFA, but tonight overall has been a success. I've kind of got over my anger slightly. It was good being out, having a few drinks and stuff. There were people all around the bar I was in coming up to me. Uh, Stay in the U Callum's Corner. Say so yes, I'm Callum. Or well, Corner is actually my surname. Um, so a little joke for me there. Um, and what else was I going to say? Um, yeah, it was good. It was good. People were laughing at my feminist uh, little rants and stuff. You know, was coming up to me and saying, you know, you're absolutely bang on the money. They're mental, mental, chicken oriental, and they are. And I think I've proven that I've won. Um, we'll deal with the consequences tomorrow. But for tonight, I am man. I stand proud, hear me roar, rah. Yeah, that wasn't very impressive, but it's 2 a.m. I don't want to wake people up and it's raining now. Um, so I'm going to put my tablet away and say good night for the night. A up and welcome to um, Callum's Hangover. If I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, I'm hanging out my ass. to be honest with you. I feel rough, absolutely rough. Um, just so tired, It's what that's probably the cause of it, I think, rather than just the alcohol. My next door neighbour, the one that I don't like, I said the carpet fit is in from 8 o'clock this morning. She's doing every single carpet in her house and they're bang, bang, banging away. And I've got this bloody machine, some kind of compressor that's kicking off in there. It woke me up, it was like it was smashing through the fragile shell of my existence, my soul. Um, so I've had about three hours sleep, uh, which is never kind of good for peak performance um but however i regret nothing i had an absolutely brilliant night last night it does you good to go out and be with your mates and just cut loose occasionally um i've had a phone call from my work uh they've said to me update they've said to me that i'm not allowed to do any more shifts until i complete that course i'm not prepared to do that i'm not prepared to go and listen to something that is against everything that i believe in i'm not prepared to edit myself to do the job more poorly than I would do it if I didn't do the course. Um, I'm not going to eat that crap sandwich anymore. This is my stand. So I've been sending out my CV to kind of other agencies. Um, if that's the way it's going to be, that's the way it's going to be. This is my stand. I feel positive about it. I know that I'm doing the right thing and I feel strong. I'm setting an example. It is not a crime to be a bloke. It is not a crime to call someone a bloke or a woman. It's madness. All that it takes for these kind of mental, mental, chicken oriental people to win is for a few good people to do nothing. And I'm not going to do nothing anymore. I'm not going to roll over for some 
jumped up bourgeoisie pen pushing idiot who has got no idea of what she's talking about no idea how it relates to the job that i actually do tick box exercise well i'm crossing in that bloody box i will go to my own beat drum into my own beat I think I'm just waffling now. I'm massively, massively tired, to be honest with you. I'm going to get a bloody Domino's in now. Soul food, comfort food, and hopefully I'm going to catch up on some sleep tonight. Hope all of you guys are awesome. Hopefully the drunken vlog has been okay. Not too boring for you um, and not too embarrassing. I couldn't watch an awful lot of it. Uh, yeah, there we go.